Aaron Deborah. <laughs> ah. Jean and Marion and Suzanne and Brandon is here too. Oh. Um, when, when saying written in, in the topic, it, it's always uh, like any topic. You can choose the way to, to address it. And uh, it is what I want to do is to help you with a solution so your rhythmical decision are well recognized when you uh, I'm almost certain that in, in most of the steps you know is it a, a quick or a slow you know that slow is a full beat and quick is a half beat and if it's somebody you know where is a quarter which is ah uh, and like in every syllabus element of not the element, but most of them there is a three quarter quarter one structure how we approaching our thoughts on on producing it so that what people will see is exactly what we want them to see and that what we're doing is actually bring the, the visual outcome we want and uh, uh, it didn't look like i was uh, <laughs> too clear with my message so we'll be talking how your you're physically aware of a particular muscle speed, muscle connection, direction of your effort, so that your rhythmicality have a chance to be visual, to be clear for the judge, for the audience to be delivered, for your movement to resonate with what they hear, so that their sense of hearing and their vision of you resonate. And, and that's ultimately when you get a compliment, oh, you was your musicality and your your very much together with the music. Let's start with the, with the biggest challenge, uh, maybe beside Jack, which is super fast. It's samba because of all the trickiness and complication there. And we'll start with a with a simple exercise, which I tried, and it shows very clearly the good doing and and, and the wrong doing. I'll probably put my camera just here we'll start with a simple rhythmical uh, african thing here so i want you to open your legs a little bit and, and like comfortable width and then we'll be counting we'll try to think of a cycle which um quickly comes from the pressure to the sense of pickup. So we'll be visiting the bottom briefly and spend most of the time processing through the top. So it will be a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. And let's do reverse direction. So it will go one, a two, a three, a uh, four, a uh, five, so it, it's same. It's same with a brief down and, and more up. One, uh, two, just one leg is so natural that one feels like, oh, how are we doing it? But we still try. So it's try from the left too, and maybe for you from the left will be easy. So left, pressure, and through this pressure, you kind of coming, so I just show you my buckle. Wa, tigida, tigida. Tigida, a one, a six, a seven, a eight, and again, a right one, one, a two, a three, a four, a brief down and more up, seven, uh -huh. Madeline, you move a little bit with the whole body. So try to think that if you put your arm, like some visualization of a shelf on your uh, solar plexus, that this movement, would steer, yeah, so that um, here and my buckle. So uh, the space between my buckle and my arm is changing, but you see that this, my arm and let's say my chest, my pecs is not really moving. One and two and three and four. So it's a little release on your fourth, six on your tail, and then a little peak up. Little release and a little pick up. A one, a two, 
uh, three. So think that if you'll wear a belt, your buckle almost want to touch your uh, diaphragm. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and same through the left leg. A one, a two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, and eight. Good. A little rest. A little rest. Now we'll try to do the same movement, but change the cycle. We'll go briefly up and longer down. Yeah, so we'll go with you one, a two, a three, a four. Yeah, so if, if the same thing, you'll see my buckle will spend more time down one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, and other way, one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. How you feel about it? Okay, good exercise. But when I was trying to like make a, a clear difference between these two, on the second option, my quads uh, start crying at me from the very first moment. They're like, <laughs> let's, do this way. let's do the first way. Yeah. So if you try to do it again, the second one is a wrong way, but it's also the, the more common way for uh, a dear amateur students of mine. Yeah. So let's do it again really, really good version of a, of a wrongdoing. So we physically know that it's not productive. So we spend a lot of time down and then briefly up and again, down heavy in the joints, heavy on the floor, down and down. And just visit bounce room and down, 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 down. And other side, down. So here, yep, yeah, up. Let's say you feel the cycle. So it means you go, let's say, from left to right, and right picks you up. So you spend it. Now you'll spend a little more time here. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. It's even like uh, it's difficult for me because the muscles just want to come whoa, to the pickup, but. Uh, slowing it down on the bottom is uh, is I like showing a lot. Not sure. If it, it feels unnatural. It feels that I can do it for some like a, a groovy look, but not for when we want to present a easy syncopation and and readiness for the syncopation in a fast music of summer. And uh, so that was just a little warm up for us to know that. We need to be certain that passing through the bottom is very brief. We want to feel that this energy get to our distribution center sooner, and we can decide, will we hold it and, and wobble it there for a little bit, or we'll send it to the chest, or we'll send it to some spiral, running, shaking, whatever. But that it's available, and by the end of the sub, we don't feel like, oh, so heavy dance, so my knee wouldn't bear it. Yeah, it, it's important that we're passing through this bottom segment faster. Uh, so let's just let's just see how we will do it. Again, I don't really want to do it to you, but I, 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 I want to. So let's let's do in the position of a stationary samba walk. So if we, we know that for this same idea, cycle which goes up and 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 up, or which goes down, 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 down. Let's do heavy. Let's, let's practice our quads. Let's uh, suppress them. Let's not give them any oxygen. That's how we do summer. That's ah, uh, heavy summer. Ah, yeah, and let's do the other leg. 
Ready? So breathe, pressure work, and kicking it. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and the uh, heavy version. Da, da, da. Uh, down. Stay there. Stay on the bend and compress more and go up very late. Whoa. Duh. Duh. Let's do it. Let's challenge Whoa. how strong our knees are. Suzanne, you, you can do it a little bit less. Because <laughs> this is the wrong version and, and we like abusing our knees and, and know that you spent the last week in a, in a knee brace and I'm like, don't need to be so cruel to you. Okay, I'm putting my camera back. And uh, let, let's stay in the station of Samba Walk and we also now try to visualize, use a little bit of a vocal to help us cover one more weak element. Between these three steps, first, the second quarter bit and the last one, we very commonly improving the recovery of the first step. But the last one, we approach like, okay, done. Now what? We forget that the first step is just a link to one more combination. And then whatever sound effect we're producing, let's say on one, one, and this mm, is like I'm picking my weight from, from the deeper place, one, that we need to do the same, a two, whatever sound, four, six, eight, Eight, uh, eight is uncomfortable for me. But that coming to the even number, it is important to produce the same feel of recovery, immediate recovery. Yeah, let's let's do our stationary samba walk, and let's focus on this idea that we are quickly going uh, to the pick up of the buckle. One, a uh, two, three. A uh, four, five, a uh, six, seven, a uh, eight, a uh, one, a uh, two, three, a uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, a uh, eight. Yeah. What can be done? to make our front leg available as a, I know, as a pump, as, as, a, as a hydraulic lift sooner. What can be done to make it available sooner? So let, let me show two versions. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight, one. Changing to the second version. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Uh, you can do with the gestures what, what you noticed. What, obviously, second one was leg available sooner. Why? Together, pick up. Yes, uh, I was hoping to see something like back, moving back less. So I go one here, how far I'm removing myself from the point of support and how long it takes me to get back there. Can I feel that there is a way to to create some direction, but to keep, let's say my line of gravity, we talked about it earlier, to be still um, accessible. So line of gravity is something you can press and have support. So yeah, yeah, Gene, exactly like it. Now it's somewhat compromised. So I'm trying to see how far I can move my hip without losing the sense that from collarbone there is still a, a very clear line of attack. 
and one. So how I can use this line to maneuver with my body, center leg, but even when I'm placing the collarbone, uh, alignment, of, the alignment is not exactly enough. Uh, the feeling of pressure from, through the collarbone towards the foot is still very physically recognizable. Yes, Jim, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. Marilyn, good. And see that it can be done at the, even at the moment of brief knee straightening. A one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, I'll, I'll go weird now a little bit, but maybe. <laughs> or, or should I go too weird? No, okay, Jean, I, I'll, I'll, I'll stay, we'll start with you. So are you afraid of, I don't know, spiders? No, okay, spider is spider. No, pro you're not afraid of them. No, of like cockroaches discussing something so <laughs> i don't know what i'm bringing we need to if you awake you're waking up or like you and you feel something is moving through your leg through your like belly and like into your rib you would remember whoosh, whoosh, you would feel you will uh, tactile senses would feel like ah, you know exactly where it is so I want you to visualize it, make some touch, make touches. So when you go through the leg straightening, that you feel that the path for the movement goes right here. And then it goes with the high hip, with the support hip, somewhat around, that it don't go into your butt. So you one, Let's go one. So, you, for example, uh, committing your weight to the left. One. So this pressure comes to the buckle and then up to your rib and then around before you will get out of the. Yes. And the same path on the way up. Now, other leg. One, uh, two, three, uh, four. Five, a six, seven, a eight. Yes. Um, baby Suzanne, I like it very much. So baby, it's definitely a, a, a different weight placement for you. And this is a weight placement which allowing you to press more to the leg and to recover better. So when you're somehow away or, or still a little bit on the back, whoosh, this thing of get, getting rewarded better for giving more, that's now working for the first time. Yeah, when you will later put your heels like tomorrow when try to, to compare the feeling, how far forward you are and how this forward position allows you to, to be rich in the inner movement. Um, Marilyn, let's, let's do just a little thing with you. Thinking of whatever like you're starting from. That the pressure from the foot to your belly give you a sense of picking up. It's not exactly flat in your head. There is a sense of going up a little bit through the body. And then this is a place from where you can drop your weight a little bit. Um, yeah, so you see what your leg is doing. Your leg is doing something of a cha-cha like whoosh. So that's a position which from different bands, it's not 
helping you to maintain their recovery. Um, okay, if, if we, when you collect in your leg, you need to be certain that you, there is a moment of two bent knees and you land it. Okay. Okay. Yep. okay, just a one second. Of course, attention to Marilyn because that's the, not the first time I'm seeing it. Man, it is super important that you install, you upgrade your software. There have to be an absolutely common way of changing the weight while landing on the leg. So cha-cha, change weight, and push, something like that. Samba, weight change. In many cases, it's collecting and landing on the bent knee, landing. So for you, change weight, locking the knee is synonyms. It shouldn't be a synonym. It should be for cha and rumba. But for the samba, changing weight and bending knee is absolutely uh, necessary thing. You 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 will not be looking like you're dancing samba in this moment of weight change. Yes, is not having a moment of that. I remember was strange statement, but. But I think very clear one. In uh, cha cha in rumba, there is almost no, like maybe some exceptions, but no situation when your knees are moving in one direction. So cha cha samba, it is always opposite. So you're standing here, you think back, and you're moving knee, you think forward. And then even here, when then you're stepping, there is still a direction, the back knee, and it's try to stay in opposite. And then they change your roles, one go back, one go forward. Or one go back and one stay forward. In Samba, there are a bunch of places when your knees are moving in the same direction as you're collecting for your step, now they opposite. And then again, the more that they go together, the more they go together, in the same direction, together in the same direction. One, uh, two. And probably it's because none of us have enough ballroom experience, but you would totally like think what ballroom people are doing. They, they're doing it all the time. One, two, and they changing the weight with lowering. One, two, three, Lowering all the time. Da, tango, da, 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 da. Yes, I still think you know this. So, Megan, please give some attention because when you go like that, I, it's a little bit like a, a dead end for developing your technique. Be sure that you put attention to this. Okay. Now we get do a little combination today and we'll be using different rims, uh, focusing on the idea that for your uh, typical submarine slow and slow, the brief visit down and sooner recovery is important. And it is super important how the second count carries the same attitude, the same intention to recover. We, we are not so short-sighted to go, what, <gasps> am I champion? No, you need to do like 75 more steps before the end of the song, then you maybe will be. Yeah, that's, that's what we'll be doing with you. Uh, so we start with the side step, one, uh, two, so he just replaced that half turn three, four, then stationary samba walk, five, uh, six, and then merengue, seven, and eight. And then again from the beginning outside, one, one, uh, two, three, four, five, uh, six, Seven and eight, oh, one, uh, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry. Seven and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Пельмешки, пельмешки. Пельмешки is a is a petite word for пельмени. You shouldn't eat пельмени before summer class. Lesson number 25. Life rule. Life rule number 25. Don't eat пельмешки before summer class. Read. Really? So we're starting and we want to start it so it make it look like samba. So, uh, and right leg we're staying on. We're sending the energy up somewhere by the end of count eight, seven, eight. And when we go one, we're ready to recover briefly down, longer up. One, uh, two. Yeah. What I showed you, wrong thing. Don't do like this. And one, a two, three, four. That's a time where, let's say, both legs straight. Is it just the end, or there are some other resources? So this is where we can operate our gravity line and feel I'm committed to press more. So the energy goes in a little bit like a rumba. Ah, uh, picking, whoosh. And that's when we need to land on two main knees, change your weight to your left. Yes, placing the left heel on the floor. And this is number five. I see it. And that's why you wouldn't go so low because we'll go quick, 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 quick. Yeah? So one more time. Slow and uh, sorry, I'll do numbers not to confuse anyone, including myself. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a one, a two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Push, push. Yeah. I'll do a few times with you. Please be audio. Uh, vocalize your counting and help yourself with this clarification of one brief bottom and extend the top. Seven, eight, one, a two, a three, four, five, a six, a five. Five, six, seven, and eight. So what's different here? When we do our sessions, are all five. All the same here, but our six need to include just a little more projection towards our next set. Five, six, seven, and eight. A one. A one. A uh, two, three, four, five, a uh, six projection towards your step. One, a uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, a one, a one, a one, a one, a one, Let's do it a couple more times. I can look at you. Seven, 
Think of the idea of a screw. Once it's deep in the wall, you probably need a screwdriver to pull it out. But at some point, it's already loose. You can take off the screwdriver and just unscrew it with your hand. The final portion, where it's lighter. Uh, how after our first three plates, one, uh, two, we can visualize. We unscrew ourselves from the floor, up, 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 lighter. Feel the damage is already here. Now the rotation should be very easy. Yeah, so let's do it again. One, uh, two, to the baby. And exactly like we did preparation for, for your run in Rumba, that's the area where you wanna do your change. Whoosh, whoosh. And let's do one more time. One, a two, a three, four. Yeah, let me see, please. Same piece. And one, a two, a three, four. Um, not bad, not bad. I'm... Just a little suggestion for your visual. You still need pressure over your foot. Let's say now it's your left one. So when you're thinking about preparing your frame and, and bring it around, and maybe even start pulling your belly towards your legs and your elbow, you still need this pressure point. So that's why you still want your uh, gravity line, let's say from the side of your jaw through the neck or the collarbone to be there. So that is a part of your intention to use your leg for the, for the better turn, that this force is still available at the time you wanna change your head position. Because all the same thing, and I see that your head goes like that. Now your gravity line is, is compromised. You don't really have a clear visual of this line. So I can, I'm hoping I'm offering a better line of thinking instead of hold your head longer, like turn it sharper at the last moment to tell you, think that your head still helping you to use your leg. So then it would be a, a more productive task, not something to decorate your movement, but something to improve your inner mechanics. Yes? Ah, let's do the same on other legs. So if we're stepping our, our right, one and two, and you're visualizing the line from the ball of the foot, carbon, and as you're preparing your frame, when you're doing your attempts, ignore the screen, just, just follow my voice. So you're thinking of the gravity line from carbon to the ball foot, frame is reaching around, but the head is still helping you to use the pressure on the foot, even when your, your torso start turning, whoosh, whoosh, yeah? Yes, exactly. Ready. And I will count whatever. One, a two, a three, four. Yeah, let me see it one more time, please. Stepping over your right. On count one, a two, a three, four. That's good. Uh -huh. So maybe it's good looking, but you, you're missing some challenge, which can make it even better. So remember, we have this idea of espresso 
a, a, a tablet of coffee which you're pressing the water through. So the moment when your leg is straightening, this area didn't feel like you're keeping it in place. So the pressure of your leg can be pushed through, whoosh, and then turned away. What it looked like that this part is, okay, I'll just, I'll avoid the water pressure rather than I'll let the water through, go through. Yes. And that's immediately a different look. Uh, I'm in the, but instead of that, the more flat, it was immediate, uh, curvy and twisted look. Yes, Suzanne, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. What's, um, again, your, your new horizon of, of improving is energizing the core even more and finding that athletic mobility of the pelvis, yes, underneath your frame. Whoa. Yes, that's very good. So whatever ideas or whatever physical senses you're experiencing, try to re register them. That's very good. Register because they bring a very good outcome. Marilyn, looking at you. And one, uh, two, three, four. Uh, okay, uh, the task, the task of the element. When you go step, let's say you're facing me. I'm your 12 o'clock. You're replacing your leg at eight o'clock, at eight o'clock. And now after the turn, you need to place the same leg at eight o'clock, cool. And you need to look at eight o'clock and then you're turning at two o'clock, yes. So we're practicing how you stay in this direction all the way while getting your frame ready. You're already visualizing your eight o'clock and the contraction here on the low belly allows you to pivot very specifically, yeah? Let's do it one more time. And one, uh, two, uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, my man, one, ready? One, uh, two, uh, three, four, yes. It is, wait, how will I call it for you? Try to recognize the path of least resistance and close the door there. The least resistance is, is not really working. It's, 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 we want to impress people. It's the least resistance would not get us there. So it is inconvenient to go up, contract my belly and twist my brain before I'm turning. I go for this moment of discomfort, but I get the reward with exciting turn, yeah? Okay, Jim. Seven, eight, one, a uh, two, uh, three, four. Okay, Jean, let, let's just try. So this area, can I put, can you put your arms like that underneath your ribs and just try to physically press into it? Yeah, and, and help yourself a little bit with the sores. Yes, good. Now do the, uh, stay on the bent knee. And when you're straightening the knee, help with your finger, fingers to guide where the energy should go. Whoosh, yes, okay, stay there, please. Go there, stay. Keep it like that. Open your arms to the side and now do the turn whoosh inside you. Yes. So this place, I don't see that you're visiting it regular enough. And that's when, I know you might get that image, but espresso, you, you seal this tight pressed coffee and then the water and then you have your espresso. So think that it's just happening reverse way. This part stay tight, it's sealed. 
And when the leg is working, whoosh, this compression creates, whoosh, and that's when you will have a, a good thick espresso, not just a, a, a gas station coffee. Yeah? Okay. I would like to, to see it one more time, and then we'll go to, to a few, uh, just a two more combinations of steps. Great, let's do it with my count. Seven, eight, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, four, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, a uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, four, five, a uh, six, seven, a uh, eight, seven, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, four, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, a uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep. Yeah. One more time, please. Yeah. Um, when we we want to remember our gravity lines, we want to help ourselves feel them. So looking down and changing the head position is not helping. So be sure that the, the feeling of the side of your neck and your, your jawline somehow can be acknowledged. You might you want to be aware. If your head is in the wrong place, it just function, it should feel wrong. So when I'm stepping, this line should, should feel, oh, it's working. It's there, it's working for me. So when I'm flipping myself, it's literally like there is a little spike and, and, the, and the revolving action around it. Ready, seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, a one, a two, a three, four, five, a six, seven, and eight, yep. Yep, very nice. I would like to do two more elements. One will be karaoke. We'll not spend more too much time there because we don't have much. But the idea of all the same things: gravity line, brief visit of the bottom, and visualizing this area where you want to accumulate this. Let's go, let's stay on the, on the left leg, and we'll be going cross step one, and that's where pressure through the stain leg to this area, one, uh, two. And I'll make a little exaggeration. I want to go up as much as you can before go sideways. Whoosh, to douche, whoosh, to douche. Yes, so not one. So the side, the side step, I don't want to feel like a diagonal. I want you to feel it like a, a flat side movement, almost flat. Ready, seven, eight, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight. Yeah, like almost. Again, like if you'll be stitching, you will be passing the needle through the floor, groin area, right there. And then the, the stitch will come out from here, whoosh. And that's where you can do sidestep. Yeah? So let's do it. All right leg across through the groin, through the diaphragm, through the collarbone, sidestep. And one, a uh, two, and three, a uh, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, a uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. Yes. I showed you all what I can show. Now let me look at it. And I'll count, not too fast. Please 
follow this process and know you will be given a little time to finish it before we'll say a two. I want to finish it to be in control three, a four. So my a, a two, a four will be when I satisfied, <laughs> not when your body is falling there. Yeah, ready, seven, eight, one. And you know, it, it's four times slower because I need to be satisfied with four of you. <laughs> Ready, set, so just feel like you're opening a channel and the flow of energy through this channel carries you. Up, uh, two, yeah? Ready, seven, eight, one. One more time. A right leg forward. So we sign over the left and we go one, a two, three, a four, five, six. And look, uh, I can count faster if all of you process this faster. So it's not to be, you, you remember, yeah? Doing a slow recover from the bottom is bad. It's not at all what, what I want to achieve by counting slow. It's just to see that all of you whoosh are in the right place to do a, a very light and spontaneous side replace. Ready, seven, eight, one. Uh, uh, Madden, I want to see your leg bending at first. So when you go karaoke, you're landing at some degree of the bendy, recovering, and then right to the sides. And all together, doing six, seven, eight, one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. <laughs> Gene. I, I would not <laughs> I would not trust you my my shirt to be fixed if if I need some sewing there. It will be a patchwork. What I'm talking about, we just did with you from the from like to here. And you're doing your side step, boosh, and I see this part so that you have too much of a butt, but enough to, to, to show mistake. Yeah, so please, yeah. pick it here. Yes, whoa, and then from here, you can continue to your color board and then, okay, another thing you, you did today following my critique to Suzanne. When the standing side is to be restricted, so that I can just like press and it's escaping, or I'm like pressing and it's escaping somewhere. It is localized, secured, compressed. So then there is a force. If it's leaking, we're not gaining anything from pressing there. So let's do just a couple more times. One from the knee to the diaphragm, color board, replace. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, just a little detour in our discussion. Station Summer Walk was talking, gravity line. How soon it is available to me? So alignment is important. Now let's see. Can I do a good recovery from this front foot? Why? What should I do? What should I do? Yes, yes. So at the time of landing, visualize that the gravity line is there for you to foot is where the support is. So put body parts which affected by gravity 
on this line. So then whoa, you can benefit from it. But if it's something like that, plus minus, then it's not really reliable thing. Ready, seven, eight, whoosh, at, whoosh, at, whoosh, at, whoosh, at. Yes, a one, a two, a three. Gene, one thing would help your ability. Uh, when you do the karate side step, first step can be just a little bigger because the way how complex yours is, you're a little bit confused. Where is my left and right side? And how, uh, like I'm operating my bicycle, I know this lines left and right. Just allow your, let's say, stay in the cross position. And I think that when you're using your right gravity line, you can press a little bit further away from it. Now, when there is a step, you feel, okay, there is a flow and my leg is placed under my weight and I, we can say supporting the flow or maintaining the flow because there is very little side action on your first two step. You basically like, okay, so where is this whole needle thing going? I'm just like, doing this to myself. So side cross and this elevation supporting your side flow. A one, a two. And here know that creating a sun flow sideways and then supporting, yeah? One, a two. Uh, yes, that it look much nicer. Yes. Please just one thing, remember, here, I think it, it might be possible, but you're, you're skipping a couple of steps. So don't get into this. It can be a decoration. Whoa, ba -ba, ba -whoa ba -ba. But for now, what you're doing is a little bit of a stress to your upper part. And I would much more like to see just the presence of this part and the obedience to gravity trying to fight it, yeah? And if we'll just try one more element, we'll do a part of the hand-to-hand -hand promenade where you need to combine slow and slow and quick, quick, slow, and also recognize that that's something quite, uh, not tricky, but, but kind of hidden a little bit. When we're practicing timing and we do uh, continuous steps in one direction and we go two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one. We get a certain idea of, of speed, speed of our actions, how fast we need to operate our transitions. And then the timing is the same, but we're now doing, let's say, Aliman. Four and one, and two and three and four and one. And if you approach this combination with the calmness of your straight walks, you simply would be behind because changing direction is a significant action. It, it's like we have a, a bigger trajectory. So we need to increase our speed of processing. And that's, for example, important for this, this combination. For example, do your slow and slow and you're ready for your run, run, run. Maybe, oh, I have slow here and I have slow there. But that slow feels totally different because this last slow we need to include a change of direction. One, a two, three, and four, five, a six, seven, and eight, one. Yeah, that's why on the two, 
we can count something like slow, a slow, quick, quick, slow. But on the fourth, which is technically slow too, we need to incorporate some type of quick, quick, slow. This uh, last portion of the count where we need to change direction. So our count five would be not chasing the music while we're still here and four and five, but three and four, five, uh, six. Yeah. So let's let's do it a couple of times. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. And then again, it's not that it's a really a tiny thing, but you might still think about them. First slow on the station assembly loops. No additional action, so I can do just a little bit deeper probably. Whoa, ba -ba. Still process, but go a little bit deeper. If now I'm doing the same with a change of direction, whoa, da da. Then I need to be even more urgent on my recover. So this whole important of keeping the line of gravity, whoosh, recovering super fast, whoosh, da da, and turn. Ready, ladies, left, right, left, quick, quick, slow, whoosh, slow, ah, uh, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, a uh, slow, quick, quick, slow. Yep, I, I know you don't have much space, but you do have space for one run. So that's what we'll be doing. Ready, looking at you. Seven and eight. One, a uh, two, a uh, three, and four, and a five, a uh, six. Yes, yes, Jean, correct steps. So we did a similar element. It's, it was easy because it was in place. So, um, but it, when you did, when you let it over your right, go from the floor to the diaphragm, go and pick it, pick it, pick it, and keep it underneath. Whoosh, yes. And when you're doing it already, pick your heel of the floor. Yes, because you want to send your weight towards the next leg. And when you stay flat, you're a little bit in place when you need actually to go up. Yeah? Okay, let's do just a couple more times before we'll, we'll finish for today. Ready, seven, eight, slow, a slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, a slow, quick, quick, slow. Yes, that's good. That's good. So if I'll just summarize what I was hoping to deliver today, is that this place where you given a rhythm, like a like a notes, like the person in the orchestra. Here is your notes. When he looked there, he knows exactly how to hold his violin. What kind of movement need to be done to deliver a certain sound. That's what I was trying to help you with. So when in your routine, me or Deborah and Zen or Oleg or uh, Jean Yopana will be giving you certain patterns, you would know exactly how to, to play them so I would see what's in your coach, in your routine, uh, initial plan. What's the idea there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your attention. And uh, I guess like after every event, you just tend to like go back a little bit to the roots. And uh, that's what I felt a little bit. You um 
it, it, it's bad to say it's, it's you know, this like old grumpy retired professional saying, oh, in our days, it was that and that. And now this new generation is, but it, it's, it's what I truly felt when I was watching professional final, there was quite some disappointment of, of missing some very simple things, how like following just the idea of good alignment, listening, using the floor pressure, the opportunity to be dynamic, to be expressive is missing. And it was not only that I'm missing the class and clarity, that I'm missing uh, dynamics. I'm missing the energy which, which could be um, shared with the audience, but only if the, there is a certain well-trained mechanics in your body and then like I don't know if, if somebody of a high caliber like winners Nisha or, or troll someone would be like you know going to the fan so the amount of resistance the amount of connection awareness of timing and and hitting the beat uh, having enough energy internally to to project this energy would be enough without like sweating much but this takes all the all the hours and, and years to to spend in the prison of your practice room to then deliver something spectacular and feeling happy. I know how I'm doing it. Thank you for your attention. It's time for me to run back home to my girls. 